Durant sprints out. Throws for golf. Touchdown. What a great throw from McMahon. Give me Mr. Parkinson. The pretender has escaped. Hello, everybody. Along with my partner, Olympic gold medalist Willie Gold. I'm Van Earl Wright. Welcoming you to Ned and Cookie's first big fight ever. And welcome back to another episode of the Boys Podcast. Today I'm joined by legendary football player and actor, Mr. Willie Gold. Welcome, Mr. Gold. Thank you. Thank you very much. You're welcome. I got a couple of questions for you, Willie, if you don't mind. Sure. Okay, so what are you doing during these times of quarantine? Like, how's your quarantine? Well, I'm staying safe, I'm exercising, eating properly, of course, and taking precautions, wearing my mask, social distancing, and just respecting the virus and respecting other people's safety. I think that's what it's all about. I mean, either whether you believe it or not, I think it's um, a small ask to be respectful and to try to help save other people. I like that. You're absolutely right. Like staying inside, wearing the mask, you're absolutely right. right. Absolutely. Yeah. And that's why I did like during these times of quarantine, stay inside, staying safe, doing these podcast interviews, you know? Yeah, of course. Absolutely. And it's all about respect, really. I mean, there's a lot of people, some people don't believe, some people have different uh, values, different goals. But I think if you can look at yourself and say, look, I want to treat people the way I want to be treated, I want dignity and respect, and respect being. If you have it, you don't know you have it. Why give it to someone else? If you don't believe it, then wearing a mask is not going to do anything to you. I mean, so it's it's a very easy fix, and it's a very unselfish thing that uh, a lot of people, in a selfish way, don't do. And I just think uh, it it doesn't make sense to me. So, but a lot yeah. of things don't make sense. So it's all good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I agree with you, Willie, on that. Willie, do. Okay. Now, what made you want to become a football player, and who was your biggest inspiration for football? Well, I mean, growing up in high school, I and before high school, I played all sports. I played baseball. I played football. I played basketball. I ran track. Um, and I just resonated with football because I was uh, pretty good at it. I was pretty good at baseball, too, and running. Uh, but I thought track was a good opportunity. I mean, football was a good opportunity to uh, excel fast. Uh, I played college football for four years and did well and got drafted first round. Also, I ran track. I ran the Olympics and made two Olympic teams in track and, and also in, in Winter Olympics. Um, so I just thought football was a, a great team sport, and it gave me an opportunity to play professionally um, right away, and I played for 12 years. So it was a, a great choice. Well, speedy Willie. <laughs> exactly. I'm world class. Yeah. This is Speedy Willie, and I'm world class. I like running, but I love to get the pass. I practice all day and dance all night. I gotta get ready for the Sunday fight. Now, I'm as smooth as a chocolate swirl. I dance a little funky, so watch me, girl. There's no one here that doesn't like me. My Super Bowl shuffle will set you free. <laughs> I like that. Okay. Now, uh, who's your favorite and least favorite team growing up? And did you have, like, a favorite player? Like when you, well, I, mean, I don't think I had a least favorite team, but I mean, I loved the Dallas Cowboys at the time because they had Tony Dorsett and you know, um, the quarterback and you know, Bart Starr. I mean, it was just it was just a great team and it was America's team. And being in Georgia, I could see it a lot because it's on TV in Texas. I also like the Falcons, uh, but you know, I, I really enjoyed the, the Cowboys with Drew Pearson. And then, I, of course, I like went Lance Swan, who played receiver for the Pittsburgh Steelers. Walter Payton was one of my favorite players, and uh, Jim Brown, of course, was one of my old time old time favorites, and uh, just a great player who I've got a chance to meet all those guys. So, which is like a dream come true to me. I like that, and it's cool that you got to play with Walter, like as a teammate. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And then the, that guy with the, I think you mentioned his name with the Cowboys. He actually got inducted into the Hall of Fame, I think. Yeah, Drew Pearson. Yes, he yeah, ended up Drew receiver, right. Drew Pearson was great, and Lynn Swarm. Those two guys were the two top receivers in the league at the time in the 70s when I was growing up and really watching football. And then, of course, Tony Dorsett with his speed was just amazing. So uh, I love watching him. And, of course, um, uh, the, the Cowboy coach, uh, and then Tex Stram, who was the owner. Uh, so it was, it was just a, it was America's pastime, which is football. And yeah. that was a team. Yeah. I like that. Okay. Yeah. Now, 
how did it feel to be drafted 18th overall by the Chicago Bears and who was like there to witness and like how to feel? Well, it was very exciting. Um, I, I thought I'd go in the first round because teams were calling me and uh, I was just curious of, as where I was going to go. Uh, the Cowboys actually had a couple of picks after that and they, they had called me right before then and said, if you're still left, we're definitely going to get you. So I was like, okay, great. And then the Bears called and say, okay, we're going to choose you. I go, okay, great. <laughs> because I knew Walter and um, I had also met Mike Ditka before. So I was excited to go to Chicago and Chicago is a great city. And it, Chicago to me now is probably the best city in America. It just gets too cold, but it's probably the best city in America. And so I had an opportunity to play at a place that was really uh, one of the most amazing cities in the world, as far as I'm concerned. That That's where I'm at, Chicago. So that's cool. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I didn't yeah. say that for you, of course. I said it because it's true. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Now, uh, what was your pregame snack, drink, song, and ritual? Like, did you have any when you were playing? I didn't really do rituals. Uh, I never want to put myself in a box and have to do something all the time because in case I couldn't do it, I then I would feel like, oh, my, I can't perform. I just, you know, I, I, I didn't do the same thing. I just did whatever. I mean, I just, uh, I ate, you know, usually pasta or um, a fish or something like that. Uh, just something that I could have energy, but not a lot. Um, didn't really do songs. Wasn't really into music that much. I don't do headphones and stuff like that. I like to know my surroundings when i'm running i can't run with headphones on i just like to feel the environment and, and know where i am and be ready for something if something happens I, i'll be alert to be able to move so i never did that and you know i i would just warm up the sort of the same way which it wasn't like a ritual but it was just the way i warmed up because i could get warm strides and and all those things so uh, I didn't really, I'm not really a ritual type person. I'm pr I'm pretty consistent. I do things that make sense, but I'm not really a ritual person where I have to do it or I think, oh my gosh, the world's going to end. Yeah, you're right. I... Yeah. Right. Oh. Okay. Now, do you, uh, do you have like a favorite band and type of artist and like type of music? Well, I mean, Michael Jackson probably was my favorite artist of all time. Uh -huh. uh, but I, I mean, I like, different types of music i'm i'm not opposed to any music but i'm not into a lot of music i'm into certain things popular music is great uh, i like some country i like some um hip-hop i like some r and B. I i like some jazz you know so it's just all according to the mood i'm in and what's playing and if i, res if I resonate with it you know yeah. like a little Dale. i like you know bruno mars i mean it just it, it all depends on what mood i'm in so yeah, yeah. i'm I like some Sam Smith, which is great. So, yeah, absolutely. Believe it or not, I actually uh, got to meet my favorite band of all time. Oh, believe it or not, Lily. Who was that? I'm Queen. You know, like We Are Champions. Or Rock. Yeah. yeah. I'm a guitarist and they're a drummer. <laughs> cool. Really cool. Yeah, yeah. That's cool. Thank you. That's cool. I've been fortunate enough to meet a lot of people in my business and a lot of singers and actors and people I never would, you know, even imagine meeting. And, yeah. and hanging around and becoming friends. So I've been very fortunate in my in my life, and I'm very, very blessed. I'm very lucky. like that. Do you have a favorite food, if you want to be asking? Well, I'm a I don't eat meat. So I, I like I, I eat fish every once in a while. But, you know, halibut is my favorite fish. And um, my favorite vegetable is probably corn and beans. And um, uh, I, I'm, I, I, lo I love uh, uh, Beyond Meat. Burgers, they're amazing, um, and that type of thing. So it's uh, it's you know, it's just it's different. It's yeah. different. Yeah, I like that. Okay. Yeah. Now, uh, what made? How did it feel to win this twentieth Super Bowl with the Chicago Bears? How did that feel? Oh, that was amazing. Um, well, I are going to be the, probably one of the most amazing moments in my life. Of course, uh, of course, I've been to two Olympics too. So, um. So there, it's very comfortable, comfortable to Olympics. But Olympics is different because it's the world. It's not just the U.S. Football is just the U.S. Olympics is the world. So the world yeah. stage where everyone is competing. So mm -hmm. that's, that's different. But winning the Super Bowl was arguably one or two in my life. So, and it's, uh, uh, besides having my kids, of course. I mean, not yeah. taking take consideration because that's the best. But as far as a accomplishment, sports that i i have to say top two for sure 
like that. And then I, I remember the Super Bowl shuffle. That was pretty good. But your line yeah. was pretty cool. I like that. Yeah. And then I don't know if you could tell us Chicago Bears here. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah that's sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now, here's your acting questions. What made you want to become an actor? And who inspired you for that? Like, who's your biggest inspiration for acting? Right. Well, in college, we, before our games on Saturday, we would go to a, stay at a hotel on Friday. And we would usually go see a movie on Friday nights. So okay. I, I saw, you know, movies every year for four years, you know, wow. uh, 11 movies a year at least. And so I become, I started becoming really interested in movies and started saying, oh, boy, I'd like to do that one day. And so I started taking acting classes. And, you know, when I moved to Chicago, I, I took lessons there and started doing movies. And I really loved it. And, um, you know, I was on a TV series for a couple of years, two TV series, liked it, loved it, and did several movies that I really enjoyed. And so it was something that I really wanted to try, try to uh, uh, experience. And I was able to experience it and I loved it. Still do love it. I love movies. It's, uh, it's great to be able to become someone that you're not, but you are. Uh, mm -hmm. It's called acting, but also it's called being yourself within a role. And mm -hmm. because no one can bring to the character what you bring to it. But also, I mean, becoming someone else, which is uh, almost uh, comical, but it's great. Yeah, I also remember you in like Ned's The Classified. You're acting in there. Yeah, cool. yeah, it was like, cool. Little kids. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now, what is your favorite role they portrayed? If you choose like a favorite of all time so far. All right. Um. Hmm. Uh, I, I mean, I've done several characters, but they're most um, uh, friendly characters. I I I played some crazy characters before, but mostly they're somewhat. Uh, friendly characters like uh on on the pretender i was like a, a like a secret service guy who i was always chasing this guy down which is great because i got a chance to do a lot of my stunts and a lot of running and stuff i had to do which is cool so i love that that part which is good as well okay now if you could pick any role in any movie tv show what, what, what would you want to do like what kind of role like western time travel i mean if I had to have a career uh, and one person I could mark my career out, of course, Denzel Washington, who is an amazing actor, one of my favorites okay. and, and a friend, uh, his career wouldn't be bad for sure. The roles he's played have been amazing. Tom Cruise's roles have been amazing, what he's been able to do. Um, uh, also like Roger Moore, you know, uh, James yeah. Bond, that would be pretty cool. Yeah. So if you were like, were in their place, you'd be like, oh, this would be awesome doing all their right absolutely <laughs> for sure yeah okay now who was the coolest person you've worked with in your career the coolest for your acting career oh my gosh um hmm. well i mean i work with some pretty cool people um um i worked with the coolest probably i don't know eddie murphy maybe he's cool it was really cool um I worked with um who else was pretty cool that I worked with. It was interesting, you know. Um uh let's see. I'm building a blank here. Um George George Clooney was pretty cool. Yeah. So a couple a couple of really cool guys. It was cool. That is really cool. That's like awesome. Like oh my, I'd be like, holy smokes, I'm working with those two. Yeah, they were really, really cool. Nice. Okay. Now, what director taught you the most? And is, is there a director you want to work with? Wow. Um, I, the, the directors on uh, Pretender were great. Uh, and the one on the West Wing were amazing, too. I still see those guys. Um, uh, I don't know. I mean, I, I think there's so many great directors out there uh, I would love to have worked with. Um, but, you know, yeah, Steven Spielberg would be great. Yeah. <laughs> He was great to work with. I mean, because he's genius. Um, but there are many more. I mean, yeah, he's just one of many that I would love to work with. So. He, would be, he would be cool. Like, imagine that like, you're in a Spielberg movie. Like, you're Steven. Right. Right. I could do something spectacular. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Right. Now, uh, if you never did like football or acting, what would your career be, and what what hobbies do you have? Well, I I was interested in business, so it, I, it would be business which is what I'm doing now. Um, I love making deals. 
the art of the deal is is who I am. I mean, I like to put people together and and try to see if things could work. And I'm good with people. I'm good with handling things and or coordinating. And I'm good with managing people and also managing expectations. And also, I don't. I have a. I'm patient, so I don't get upset about things. And I'm I'm really patient about the process. I understand there's a process to everything. And where I want the process to happen right away, I understand that sometimes the process takes time. And you have to be patient and diligent to um, see the process through. I like that. Do you have any hobbies? Like now drawing, writing? Do you have any hobbies? Um, well, my, my son's an artist. My son's a great artist. So he does that. So I, I play golf. I run. I work out a lot. And uh, golf is probably my game that I, I go to. Uh, I play tennis sometimes. But for the most part, golf is my habit, my, my hobby. Um, and I like relaxing and watching a great movie or, you know, doing some, some things in the yard or, you know, just, just yeah. easy things. Just chill and relax. <laughs> You're right. Exactly. Yeah. Do you have a favorite movie and TV show? Like one of my favorite movies is ghost, uh, with, um, Patrick Brady and, uh, Demi Moore. That's one of my favorite movies of all time. Of course, um, uh, Black Panther was is a great is one of my favorites now, and also uh, Avatar, which mm-hmm. is so cool. But also I have so many great movies. Uh, the Lion King is one I love. Lion King, Mufasa, <laughs> Kuru Matata, what a wonderful frame. Um, and so I, I have I, I love movies. So I have some really great favorite ones. That's cool. You know they're making like a uh, sequels to Avatar, right? Yeah, I know. I know. The, I know the guy was writing them. So I absolutely. Imagine like you were in the movies. That would be cool. Yeah, that would be cool. That would be like, really cool. You like I like that movie. And I'm in the movie. Yeah, of course I love the Game of Thrones. That movie, that TV series, um, that was I mean one of the most epic uh, series ever. Uh, mm-hmm. The Matrix is one of my favorite movies. The Wachowski brothers, I think, are from Chicago. So mm-hmm. the Matrix was a great movie with Keanu Reeves. Um, mm-hmm. So I mean, there's so many great movies out there. The Hobbit. I mean, oh my gosh. So, yeah. Awesome. Do you like Back to the Future? So again? Oh, I love Yeah, it was cool. It was cool at the time. Yeah. At the time, it was great. Believe it or not, like, I've interviewed, like, an actress from there, actually. Um... Oh, really? Yes. Right. Yeah. Okay. Right. okay. Now, uh, what advice would you give people who want to be a, become a football player and an actor? What's your advice? Well, I mean, you got to find your passion. If that's your passion, then you have to go for it. You have to... Uh... Not just do what's told, but do the extra. You know, I was always the first one on the field and last one off. I did extra stuff. I ran extra. I mean, I was willing to put in the time. I did my research. I studied. I was a student of the game. You got to understand where the game came from to understand where the game is going and figure out what your contribution is going to be. Uh, and in acting, you got to do the work. You have to go to classes. You have to learn your craft. You have to go out and fail. You have to be not afraid to fail. Um mm-hmm. And because there's no really failure, it's just uh, opportunities. So if you if you don't get the job, you try keep trying because there's no one like you. So you have to realize that. And I think once I realized that and understood, then it was so much easier because you put a lot of pressure on yourself to go in and get a job because it's it's auditioning. The auditioning part of it is the hardest part. Being when you get the job, that's easy. After that, but the hardest part is getting a job because you're bidding against, you know hundreds of people sometimes but you have to have the confidence to go in and that you're yourself and no one's like you and if they choose you then they're lucky to have chosen you so that's the attitude you have to take i like that advice is there anything hopefully when things get back to normal do you have any projects in the works like is there anything given the well, works I've written, I've, I've, I've written something myself that i want to get made eventually so mm-hmm. i'm hopefully trying to do that and we'll see what happens so but but besides that no i'm just you know, doing my thing business-wise. Nice. Now, is there anything you like to promote and shout out a link down below so I can help you out? Anything? Well, I'm good. Everything's good. <laughs> like uh, Twitter, Instagram? Do you have any of those? Uh, I, my Instagram is Willie Galt, so anybody can join there. It's open to Instagram. It's not one that I have to invite you, so they can follow me. They follow my workouts and follow what I do and, uh, you know, just my everyday normal life. Yeah. The life of Philly Galt. Exactly, absolutely. Like that. Is okay. Is there any questions you have before I do my outro, Mr. Galt? No questions. No questions. Okay. Yeah. 
Why, thank you all so much for watching. Thank you, and Willie, for being an awesome and amazing guest. My pleasure. Have a good one. Be safe, yeah. everybody. Wear your mask, social distance. Respect yeah. your neighbor. Yes, have a great day, everybody, and stay awesome. And stay awesome, Mr. Galt. Okay. Talk to you later.